This mother puka was positioned to give birth in South Longwana National Park in Zambia when a pair of wild dogs approached her and viciously started eating the baby coming out of her birth canal. After that, they killed the mother as well. In another clip, wild dogs pierced a pregnant impala and devoured her baby too. After watching this clip, the seemingly very bad and notorious reputation of wild dogs seems justified. But with an impressive 80% successful kills, these painted wolves are the most effective hunters of African savanna beating lions, cheetahs, and leopards in the race of successful hunts. So, watching an impala dying in the jaws of a wild dog should not come as a surprise. There are opportunistic predators that hunt medium-sized animals such as impalas, deers, antelopes, wildebeests, and buffaloes. One of the most endangered mammal species in the world, the African wild dog has to compete against much bigger and dangerous predators by staying together is the key to their survival. They work together in packs of 6 to 20 or more to hunt and are known to bring down larger prey such as wildebeests or buffaloes. Each pack of wild dogs is led by a monogamous breeding pair of alpha dogs, and if the circumstances force the pack to fight enemies like a pride of lions or a cheetah family, alpha dogs always take the lead. You can see here that the cheetah family had just hunted when they were approached by a pack of wild dogs. Normally, the strongest dogs in the pack will directly interact with the enemy, while the rest of them will defend the litter of pups. During this particular face-off, however, though cheetahs attempted to defend their kill, in the end, the wild dogs badly outnumbered them and won the hunt. It was a bad day for cheetahs. African wild dogs are outright dangerous and deadly. Also known as Cape Wild Dogs, African Hunting Dogs, Bat Ear Dogs, African Painted Dogs, and Painted Wolves, African Wild Dogs are solidly built and extremely athletic. They're intelligent hunters and can run at speeds up to 41 miles per hour for 10 to 60 minutes at a time. They hunt in packs, and the male dog makes the first move by grabbing a prey animal by the nose, and it only takes them 5 to 30 minutes to take down a prey depending on its size. The poor hair was torn in I don't know how many parts in a mere seconds. While a larger prey like wildebeest may take up to 30 minutes to be taken down. Bigger the pack, bigger the hunt they need to sustain themselves and therefore they go after big animals like this gazelle. It was just taking a small swim in the stream when these painted wolves attacked it. And oh, I did tell you that they grabbed their prey from the nose and, look, the gazelle has been grabbed by the nose. The pack frantically charged at the gazelle and in minutes, the animal was down and eaten by at least 20 wild dogs. Nature is brutal to anyone vulnerable in the jungle and sometimes one hunt is chased by many other animals. I have this incredible clip in which these dogs were after a bush buck in the mountains near a stream. The buck tried its best to live and dodge the dogs at various points. In the end, it managed to jump in the stream and get as away from them as possible. Unfortunately, the bush did not see a croc waiting in the water for it. It was just one strong bite from the crocodile, and the buck was dead in the water. Anyhow, wild dogs are fearless and opportunistic hunters. Once they spot a weak link, they attack there with full power. This is the reason they're the most powerful hunters of Africa, beating everyone else in the rings. If they find a lonely and unsuspecting warthog, they'll go for it without second thoughts. Baby animals are their most favorite hunts. Once the baby is down, even the mothers know it's of no use to rescue it from the jaws of wild dogs. In mere 38 seconds, two wild dogs tore an antelope in half. With a bite force of 317 pounds per square inch, it was not so difficult for them to do so. The clip was shot by tourists and they were shocked to experience the brutality of nature. In an epic and classical feeding frenzy, a pack of wild dogs took down five buffalo calves in front of their mothers and the whole herd. Watch, one calf down, second down. This one is the third that died right there in front of her mother. That's the fourth. Fifth one. African wild dogs are the literal manifestation of living and dying for their family. 
Though the bigger the clan, the more efficient the hunt, non-breeding adults sacrifice their own nourishment to ensure the pups in the group get enough to eat and grow. Subsequently, these altruistic elders tend to gradually become malnourished and die younger than their peers in packs with fewer offspring. These highly social beasts communicate with each other by touch, actions, and vocalizations. Before a hunt, you can see them playfully circling each other and seeming to psych each other up for the endeavor. They're also one of the few mammals that care for the old, sick, and disabled members of the pack. In the end, these wild dogs urinate most weirdly. Do you know how? Like this.